Let's plug in the SDI 12 USB adapter. Windows will automatically install its drivers and create a COM port. In this case, COM 18. If this is your first time installing a COM port on your computer, you'll need to be patient. What we're looking at are two windows. The window on the left is the Python shell. It shows you the input and output of Python scripts. The window on the right is the SDI 12 configuration script version 1.1. We run this script to set up the uh, SDI 12 sensor's address. On the left window, you can see the messages printed by the configuration uh, script in blue. This script runs on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Raspberry Pi. The script has discovered a number of COM ports and listed them all on the left window. The first one, item 0, is our SDI 12 USB adapter, that is COM 18. Type 0 and enter, ignore the rest. If you are unsure about the COM port number, run the script with the adapter disconnected and then run it again with the adapter connected. This way you can see which port belongs to the adapter. After a short moment, the script has detected the SDI-12 sensor at address 1. The information printed out indicates the sensor at address 1, compliant with SDI-12 standard version 1.3, and the manufacturer is Dakigon. The sensor is a spectral reflectance sensor, and its serial number is also printed out. What this script does is to detect the one character SDI-12 sensor address, print out the sensor information, and allows you to change its address. Valid SDI-12 sensor address includes 0 through 9, capital A through capital Z, and the lowercase a through lowercase z. Let's set the sensor address to 2. To check that this has taken effect, we run the script again, and now it has detected the new address. The address is saved on the sensor until it is changed again. Now let's take a look at the data logger script. Here I have Python shell and SDI 12 logger script version 1.1. Let's run the script by pressing button F5. This time there is a longer printout and it does say it runs on Mac OS. What this script does is it logs data in two places, a file on the computer and it also sends the same data to a server as Sparkfun Electronics. Everyone that runs this simple data logger script shares the same storage on the server and can see its results from everyone else. You can also create your own storage or stream on SparkFun so that you can keep your data to yourself. Next, we see a list of serial ports. We select 0 for COM port 18, just like before. Then we are required to enter the total number of data points. Let's try 5. You can enter any large number of data points and stop the data acquisition anytime with Control c Data saved on your computer and sent to the server will not be lost if you stop the script. Delay between data points is specified in seconds. We'll use 10 seconds. Then we decide whether to store each data point with local or universal time. Enter 1 for local time. Enter the SDI-12 sensor address, 2. Here is the first data point. Date and the time, then two spectral reflectance values, and then 2.0 for facing upward. The curl command that appears on the next line will only appear if you have curl installed. 
which is a tool to send HTTP requests. So besides a local copy of your data, you also have an online copy at the Sparkfun Electronics server. Okay, now we have finished collecting five data points, and the Python shell prompt has returned. We will take a look at the data file and the server data next.